Hey you guys, it's Miss Alexander, and we're starting a new school year, which means we get to start Engage New York over. So if you want, you can go look at last year's uh, video for Module 1, Lesson 1, and compare the two. All I know is I'm starting new. I have some new visions and trying to figure out how to do this a little better. So the first thing I'm going to say is you want to keep watching and listening, hit the subscribe button. Also hit notification so that you get notified when I do new videos. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. So I'm going to keep on going and remind you at the end of the video. Remember, we're engaged in New York. We're doing Module 1, Lesson 1. Our objective is interpret, interpret a multiplication equation as a comparison. We're looking at only a few vocabulary words for today. I put enough for the whole week. Place value is a numerical value that a digit has by virtue of its position and number. It's important we understanding place value. We also need to know what a multi-digit whole number is, which it's having more than one digit. And then multiplication. It's a process of combining two or more numbers under the specific rules to obtain their product. And product means their answer. So let's go down to our example. And yes, there's a lot of new vocabulary words we're covering this week. So here's our example example. The directions tell us to label the place value chart, fill in the blanks to make the following equations true. We have three equations, but I have a place value chart and it says to label it. I see I have four boxes and now I've got to figure out where do I put what word. Maybe I could put ones in the third box and then tens in the first box, but then I've got to think of the place value chart and I've got to remember that each number has a place value. So I know because I'm not working with decimals, the digit closest to the right. So the last digit of the number is my ones place. So the furthest right box needs to be ones. So I'm going to write ones. And I know that next to the ones, and when I'm thinking about my place value chart, the, ne the next digit is tens. And then next to that to the left is the hundreds. And then next to the hundreds is thousands. Hopefully this is a nice little review of these digits. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So ones is our first digit. So it's the furthest right. Next to that to the left is tens. Next to that is the hundreds. Again, we keep going left. And one more left is the thousands. So I'm going to go up to our first problem. It says 10 times 6 ones equals how many ones? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 10 times 6. And I know that 10 times 6 is 60. So right here on this one, on the line next to our ant 10 times 6 ones equals, we're going to write 60 ones. But now we're going to go down to our place value chart and put our 60 in our ones column. The one thing we've got to remember about our, one, our columns is we can only have one digit per column. If I write 60 in the ones, I have two digits. So I'm going to take my cursor, highlight the six, go up to format, text, and hit the strike through because my six can't be there. My ones column is the number to the right. So the zero gets to say stay and my six gets to jump over to the tens column. So now I can see that I have 60 written in two columns, but we see that there are six tens. So right here, you guys, on this line next to the 60 equal ones, we're gonna write six tens. So far, you guys are doing a great job. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. So let's look at our next one. We have 10 times five tens. So I'm going to put a space down in all my little boxes. So I'm going to jump into the tens. I have 10 times five tens, and I know that 10 times five is 50. So right here, I'm going to write 50 tens. So I did 10 times five tens equals 50 tens. Now I'm going to the place value chart and I'm going to put 50 in my tens. I know some of you guys are going, Miss Alexander, do we have to write 50? If you understand the process, no, you don't. I'm doing this to help everyone out to see the process on how I'm getting the next number. 
So we have two digits of 50 in our tens position. And yes, we can only have one digit. So I'm going to go ahead and strike through my five. And I'm going to do that by hitting format, text, and strike through. And now this five that was in our tens position gets to jump to our hundreds position. So now we have five hundred, zero tens. And how many ones do I have? That's right. I don't talk about any. So I have zero. So if I look at it, I have five zero zero, which gives us we have five hundreds. So up here next to my 50 tens, I'm going to write that that equals five hundreds. And we just proved it within our place value chart. So I'm going to just click my cursor down for all my place values. I've done the thousands. I hit it three times. Hundreds, I hit it once. Tens, I've hit it once. And so is the ones. Now I'm going to look at my next problem. I have seven hundreds times ten. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the seven, and I'm going to multiply it by ten. And seven times ten is, you're right, it is seventy, you guys. So now that I've did that, I'm going to put the seventy hundreds in the hundreds position. So I'm going to put seventy there. And again, we're at the position where we can only have one digit in the column. So I'm going to highlight my seven. I'm going to format, text, and strike through because I've got to get rid of the seven in the hundreds position because it could only be zero. So that means this 700 gets boosted over to the thousands. And because we've not talked about tens or ones, I know automatically I put zeros there. So now, how many is 70 hundreds? We see that it's 7,000. So up here next to our 7 hundreds, 70 hundreds equals, I'm going to write 7 thousands. This is the first part of our little worksheet. Now let's go to the next one. It says blank is 9 hundreds is 9 thousands. So I need to figure out how to get 9 hundreds to 9 thousands. So right here, I'm going to go to my hundreds column. I'm going to put it down, and it says nine hundreds. So I know for sure if I put zeros in my other columns, I have nine hundreds. But I want to make this nine, I want to make it go bigger. So I know to do that, I have to multiply it by 10. So right here in the line, I'm going to say 10 times as many as 900 is 9,000. So if I do 10 times 9, I get 90, which means I need to cross off the 9. Why am I crossing it off? Yes, I can only have one digit in a column. So the 9 gets boosted over to the thousands position, which means 10, 10 as many as 900 is 9,000. And I can see 9000 zero, zero, zero gives us 9000. Let's go to the last one. We have blank thousands is the same as 20 hundreds. So I'm just going to jump right back up here to our place value chart. I'm going to go to the hundreds because it says 20 hundreds. I'm going to write 20 hundreds. And I know because of that, I don't have tens and I don't have ones. Now I've got to figure out how many thousands is the same as 20 hundreds. Well, if we know we can only have one digit in the hundreds position. So I need to cross off this two by going to text and then strike through. And then that two gets jumped over to the thousands. So it looks like 20 hundreds is the same as two thousands. So our statement becomes true when we say, Two thousandths is the same as twenty hundredths. This is our first worksheet. Remember, it's Engage New York in Module 1, Lesson 1. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please click the bells for the notifications. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Remember, as you're doing this to take your time, remember to smile, giggle, and wiggle, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.